What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I just talked about uh, Zometica recently, and um, I made a video talking about, um, you know, exactly how much I have and where I expect it to go and, you know, all that stuff there. Um, but I wanted to, you know, have a conversation with what's happened in the last day. Now, who's to say what's going to happen um, today, but it's looking like we're seeing things in the, in the green for today. So again, I wanted to take you through what's happening in Zometica. And... Um, you know, just give you my insights as to, you know, more of an update on the position since I am holding it. And um, yeah, so guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter at Perry8K, you can follow me over there. Don't forget about some of the links that may be in the description for this channel. Um, I have a another, um, you know, platform that you know i stream on if you guys want to check that out i have uh um i have a few referral links down below as well if you guys want to check that out but uh feel free um to just look at the links and explore them but let's uh talk about zomatica again this is a position that i've held for a long time you know um and i've been holding it um i would say without really looking at it and paying attention to it for quite some time it's been more of a, a larger swing trade and that have that has caught the kind of downside to the market right um and how everything has been decreasing just like you know amc or even a tesla or whatever right those those positions that have been you know decreasing because the overall market has not really been performing too well um they're not really in the same sector but you still understand that or why they are decreasing um you know so much now uh again uh I first bought in when it was around 69 cents or so. Um, I ended up buying in in the beginning and made money from it, but repurchased into it, started averaging down. I'm currently at an a price um, or average price of 63 cents, um, but the current price is closer to like 20 plus cents. So I'm down a significant amount on the position, not saying that it's the best position in the world, not saying that I made the best investment here, but I do expect something bigger out of it. So let's go ahead and take a look at Zometica a little bit and just understand what happened over the last day because it is pretty positive and it's always great to see uh, positions like this. Um, you know, as you see on my screen, you can see that Zometica in the last day, we are in the pre-market uh, right now and uh, the after hours market and everything looked really, really good for you know, um, you know, in the after hours trading market. But yesterday, the markets um, looked pretty, pretty green, right? You saw some things like Zomatica and AMC making some moves. And, you know, Zomatica was up 9% yesterday, up about two cents, which is phenomenal. Now, people will say two cents is just two cents, but being up 9% is a big deal. Um, uh, it shows the strength that this position does have and that you are going to see some positivity here, that it's not just all you know sunshine and and rainbows you do see um some some negative times and that's why it is down at these these lows but the great thing is that you can see positivity within the position as well and not just like slight positivity where it's up one percent or two percent like it's up nine percent over the day and then even in the uh, after hours of the pre-market you're seeing it up about 4.3 percent um, now who's to say where it's going to go, right? Anything can completely turn around and we can see the markets absolutely collapse. And we've seen that time and time again, but we're seeing, you know, two good green days in, in a row here. So hopefully it can continue on that route, but you see how yesterday it was climbing using the 200 EMA as more of a bounce, more of a level of support. Um, we did see, um, some, a massive push here. Um, before starting to, you know, slowly creep up there, creating higher highs, you know, um, you know, every hour. And um, we kept seeing that climb. It did not fully retrace. We saw healthy retracements where it pulled back and bounced off of maybe the 15 moving average or VWAP and then using the um, 200 EMA as a level of support as well before increasing, you know, well over it and finishing um, or closing at a, a level of um 22 cents almost 23 cents again being up 9.3 percent is phenomenal to see and then as you look in the pre-market 
um, you saw a, a massive spike, right? It got up to 26 cents here, uh, 26.4 cents, which would have been a significant gain here. But either way, it ended up retracing a little bit and kind of leveled out. And you're seeing it level out at these, these areas of 4.2%. So hopefully we can see more of the same as the day goes on. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm hopeful, right? I'm going to be posting this video somewhere around nine o'clock and I can tell you that I'm hopeful. Now, as you can see here, I'm holding 14,000 at a level of 63 cents. So, you know, I'm down a significant amount on how much I do have there, but I do expect this to push up, um, you know, quite a bit. It is something that is heavily shorted every single day. And you see that as a trend in anything that I am holding in the stock market. Sorry, my nose is starting to close up. Allergies are starting to kick in again. It sucks. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm holding 14,000. And what I'm looking for is some of these significant points that we have seen before. Um, it's been, you know, 2018, we saw this push up to a level of two plus dollars. Um, you know, and then 2021, we saw this push up to a level of about three dollars. So I'm looking for the same thing, right? If we can push up to a level of a dollar, and then and and you look at the uh the 200 EMA and the 200 EMA is looking at about 85 cents which would be well over my cost basis i'm looking for it to surpass the 200 EMA in the long term as we see more of a bullish market um you know come about now uh who's to say when that will truly happen but we are seeing some green here i want to see i want to start seeing some positivity um and maybe we can see the markets really start to push up and zom hopefully not be as heavily shorted as it is so this is a position that i've been holding for a while and uh again um i'm up a you know a decent amount on the day and then yesterday i was up a decent amount on zom as well so uh just let me know what you think about this position i know it's not for everybody because people won't really um be interested in you know a position that that is like heavily shorted or not um people are not people but hedge funds don't believe in the survival of this uh this business and um you know, I'm not necessarily saying that I 100% believe in the, uh, you know, survival or, uh, you know, belief that this is going to be the biggest business in the world, right? And that's not the case. It's just, I believe in, you know, I believe in believing in success. You know, I want to see businesses succeed in a lot of the areas that they're in. And when I see businesses that are innovating, you know, like Zom that are changing, you know, the game, I guess, like Zom. Um, you know, I see them as more than just like, um, Hey, you know, their financial statements may not be <clears throat> the most positive. You may not see the best bottom line for this year, but it doesn't mean that the next year they can't turn it around. Um, it doesn't mean that they're not trying to change things and add, you know, different things and acquire different companies and all that stuff there. So I want to believe in the belief, right? <laughs> so, uh, Anyways, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Um, I'm still invested in Zom. I'm glad that it's up 4% and hopefully it's moving a lot more. If it is, I'll probably give you guys an update later as to what's happening with it. <clears throat> but as of now, yesterday it was up 9% and right now it's up about 4%. So um, again, hopefully, fingers crossed that we see this continue. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.